Canadian farmers. There is little doubt they are among the most efficient productive food producers in the world. Even though Canadian farmers have to deal with a relatively short growing season for most crops and a harsh winter in many areas for livestock production, Canada is the fifth largest agricultural exporter in the world. As a result, the economic benefits farmers create helps Canadians maintain one of the highest standards of living in the world today. This all didn't happen by accident. Producers today are very business oriented. To become a successful farmer today, you don't have to be just a good production manager, you have to be a good financial manager. The first step in becoming a successful farm manager is to keep a sound record keeping system. Yes, yes, yes. Jim Latrace operates LL Seed Farm near Lumsden, Saskatchewan. He's a real hands-on farmer even though he has employees who help him daily. We're a pedigreed seed operation. We grow roughly 4,000 acres of pedigreed seed in cereals and flax and pulses and we grow canola for a rotation. Jim has for many years been experimenting and using the latest farm management programs that he could get his hands on. Of course, being a pedigreed seed grower as well as a commercial grower, it gives him a unique perspective on growing crops. What I really liked about Field Manager Pro was the rotational tracking. It makes it really easy for me to go back and see what we did on that field for the last 10 years. I can see the last three in a, in a snapshot. I can see, I can easily go and just uh, pick out what records I want to look at. Wh where did I grow all my durum? Where did I grow all my peas? And, and pull out reports to see which fields are, are rotation is what my biggest thing was to track. And the Field Manager Pro Jim referred to is part of a suite of farm management software products developed by Farm Credit Canada or FCC. Thomas Chevalier is a product support specialist with FCC management software. Hello, hello. Manager Pro is extremely easy to get started with. It starts with the user getting a list of their crop inputs, fertilizers, pesticides and so forth. And when they install the software and open it for the first time, they're guided through a wizard that will guide them through each step of the process. It's very easy to get started. Jim Latrace says that even with the early versions of Field Manager Pro, he kept track of all the details of a specific field operation. The program allowed him to do that instead of waiting to record the information when he got back to the yard or at a later time. And as his operation grew with multiple field operators, he soon discovered recording information in the field is the best option. When I was a sole operator, I, I did it in the field all the time and then um, I would also at night then come back and sync it and make sure it was in my computer and doing everything that I wanted it to do. And, you know, as your operation grows and you have multiple operators, now we're working on trying to get the other guys to do it in the field because um, then you can write down things like your weather at the time of the application and your seeding depth and you can write down so many more things if you do it at the time of the operation than if you wait until, you know, the end of the week and you're back in your office going, okay, what did I do last Monday? and you have a hard time remembering those kinds of things, those small details. Jim says they've found that with today's smartphones and tablets, it's relatively easy for operators to record information in the field after completing an operation. He has especially found that keeping track of the actual acres covered in a specific operation is very valuable. What you need to do is write down your notes exactly how many acres that you applied when you finished the field. Um, that has to be done right at the time because you'll say, oh yeah, it was 330 acres when actually you seeded 336. So that's why it's important to have that in your, in your pocket. So at that time you mark down exactly what you did because there's four people working. The next time the other guy might be in the machine and he can look at it on his device right away and see last time was 334 acres and know how to do the math accordingly to make sure you cover your ground properly. The important part of that is, is that you've got your data in one location. Like if you did it in a book, it's there. But who can go find field J from last year on the north quarter and, and nobody, we don't do it. And so then we guess again and we make mistakes. This way we can be very precise in one location and pull up 
all the seeding records from that field and see that it always seeds that many acres. That's what's been one of the biggest benefits of the software is to us. Thomas Chevalier of FCC Management Software says the programs like Field Manager Pro are being continually upgraded to allow for easy in-field data entry. Mobile application developments aside, significant work has been implemented in regards to data management and efficiency. It's a lot easier to enter data, enter operations, duplicate those operations so that users can save time, so that they're not spending a lot of time at the office. Majority of producers, they finish a hard day's work, they don't want to type all day on the computer. Jim has discovered one of the most valuable pieces of information that an operator can input is how many acres are covered with each operation. We always record our spray applications, our water rates, our, and we try to put the weather in now for what was going on when the, that application happened. That's never been a problem. Never, it's never been a problem tracking uh, actual physical uh, applications. You know, your seeding rate, your fertilizer rate, your depth of seeding, then when you get into spraying, what your rate was. And, and we, always, we always make a point to track exactly how many acres each field was so that the next time we go back to that field, we know the sprayer did it in 332 acres, the seeder did it in 345 acres. You find a couple of things out. You find out what your overlap is when you don't have sectional control. You find out how much you should actually load next year when you go to seed that field. You're going to end up with 340 acres with the seeder when the sprayer says it's 330. We, we use the software actually on the desktop to draw boundaries and we know that the field actually is 329 acres and so you need all that information all together so you know in which machine you get into how many acres you're going to end up with so you can divide that by the product that you have and make sure that you use up i like it because you use up all your product every time so everything's on the mobile device meanwhile thomas chevalier with fcc management software says logging information into field manager pro in the field with a smartphone or tablet is quite simple. User would go to the top left, operations, hit the plus button. From here the user can go select operation type. We would pick pest control. We hit the done button at the top right. From here we can choose the date. We can choose the area. We can type in something different. We can enter the duration, if it took all day. We can mark a status if we want to recommend it, plan it, or if it's in progress. We choose our crop. We could type in extra growth stage notes or any other notes that suit our purpose. We can take a picture if need be. And when we're done, we hit the save button. This put in a fertilize or a pest control operation. When they're synchronized, they'll appear below. So everything's on the mobile device. Before we can get it to the desktop, we need to sync it to the cloud. It acts like a middleman. So we hit the cloud button. What this does is it takes our operation, transfers it to a cloud, and that way we could download it to the desktop. The reason why it was set up this way is so that multiple users can access and enter information at the same time. Aside from keeping track of acreage covered in a specific field operation, there is an additional software module that is called Field Manager Pro 360 that gives growers additional field mapping options. Field Manager Pro 360 allows users to import any shape file within the software so that they can not only have their field boundaries, but import data that matches them uh, from various sources such as John Deere, New Holland and Case, model dependent. Um, and that allows users to have what's called a GIS overlay. That's where they can compare two or more different sets of data together. For example, you could compare a yield map to a uh, fertilizer map. So you can see, well, here I you know, yielded more and here I sprayed more. So is there a correlation between the two? Software does not do prescriptions, but it's intended to be used in help making prescriptions with agronomists and experts of that field. Of course, keeping track of the cost of production is something every farmer needs to do. 
After the hectic growing season is over, Jim Latrace likes to use Field Manager Pro as a review tool. Some of the reviewing that I like to do through FM Pro is, is the cost of the operations. Um, you, you, we, we track it and so we know what we spent on all products all the time, but you can look at a field and go, oh my goodness, I went out there and I, and I did this many more applications and this many more man hours went into it. And that I like about it, where, it, where FM Pro tracks your other operations beyond your spraying. Like you can track your rolling and your, your, your disking, your, your, tillage man your tillage operations and your swathing. Everything that you do, you can put in there. And that part I like about it. And we do use that. And then we can make a report at the end of the year that says, oh my goodness, we crossed that field eight times this year. And uh, we don't actually use it to make decisions whether we should go because we make the decisions based on looking at the crop, whether it needs it. And then at the end of the year, we'll see what we have to charge for it or, or whether we're going to break even on it. Another piece of FCC software is known as Ag Expert Analyst. Richard Kuntz is Senior Product Analyst with FCC Management Software. He says Analyst is designed specifically for Canadian farming no matter where you are located and the type of operation you have. So basically on setup, uh, you'll provide the criteria of where your, uh, your, uh, your farm is residing and it'll actually be intuitive enough to know the tax structure of where you are. It'll be adaptable to any enterprise, agricultural enterprise uh, in Canada. So whether it's your grains and oil seeds producer, a dairy operator, a uh, livestock operator uh, in horticulture, it'll actually capture each and every enterprise in Canada. Jim Latrace, who uses Ag Expert Analyst as his primary bookkeeping software, likes the way the program makes submitting GST payments and forms an easy thing to look after. The thing I like most about the GST return is that it's a one-click operation. In one click, it prints out my whole GST return. It prints it in the same format as CRA's uh, format, so I can actually lay the two pages side by side and you could just translate the numbers from one sheet to the other but we file our returns on CRA's website. And so it's just a straight translation of numbers from box 105 to 105, 405 to 405. It's, a, it's like a, an exact replication. It works really good. Jim soon discovered that by keeping the financials of his farm operation on Ag Expert Analyst software, payday was much easier to deal with. Once we discovered payroll, um, it made payday much easier for me because I can create everybody's paycheck on the same page. It's a one-click operation. Um, all my employees are uh, monthly salary, so I don't have to enter in how many hours they worked or anything. Um, and so then deductions are all automatic and it creates a paycheck and it creates the remittance form that I can then translate into my uh, remittance at CRA's website. And so it takes care of it seamlessly in one click. For my summer employees that are working hourly, all I have to put in once, once, the, once I set them up as, as an employee and determine what their pay scale is, it's, it's two clicks. You click it to say create a paycheck and then you write in how many hours they did. And that's all you have to do. There's no calculations for uh, deductions or anything. It, it, it's like, I love it. Mm -hmm. Actually, payrolls. What, what, the way that Analyst seamlessly integrates with CRA's world made my life a lot easier. Both payroll, tax deductions, year ends, all those things. Meantime, Jim told us that Ag Expert Analyst combined with Field Manager Pro software gives him the ability to draw up a cropping plan in advance of planting time. You can actually do this in winter, and I've done this in the past, and, and I can tell everybody that it's planned, and then it actually syncs to everybody's phone and then when the guys are working they can call this screen up on their phone and they can look and say okay I'm supposed to seed this rate and they can if I just say it's planned instead of completed then they go in here and they say okay I'm supposed to seed 70 acres at 80 pounds and I'm supposed to put on fertilizer of 1151 at 70 pounds and it even tells them where to where to put it. We put down how we put our fertilizer down, some in mid-row and some seed placed. So it's actually a valid planning tool. We did this last spring 
where I put them all into the, I sat down in here in the winter and we put all our seeding rates and all our inoculant rates, everything that we were going to do. And I put it into the software as a planned operation. So when the guys were in the field, they could call up that operation on their device and see, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. And they didn't have a piece of paper. Now, some guys are better at operating devices than others. So it worked good last year. Another intriguing feature with Field Manager Pro using data from Ag Expert Analyst is the ability to compile a lengthy history of crop production on specific fields. I'm looking at my, over on this side, my crop year is 2015 and the, the, far, the fields that we have are all there and available to look at. You can see the data entry that I've done when you click on select a field, the data entry that I've done up to this point. So after that data entry is in there, one of the things that I use this software for is I can go into reports. From reports, there's a console that drops open and you can choose all your previous uh, reports. But what I like to look at is operation history. This is something that we use the most. And if we drill down to that same field, you select your field over on the left side there. And then you can even select what crop year you're going to look at. So I can select all the crop years that I used that field on. So I have records from 1998 to 2015 there. I can select summary or detail. How much information do I want to look at? If I have 17 years there, we don't want to see detail. So I'll just go to input filters and I'll just look at the seed that we planted there because I don't want to make a report that's enormous. And I'm actually going to have a 17 year rotation on that field based on this report that I'm making. I'll go to, I could, re, I could select harvest and it would tell us exactly what we did for harvest in those 17 years and all those kinds of things. Well, as you've seen, farm financial management can be a key factor in keeping any type of farming or agribusiness operation running successfully.